we are going to use the statistics and the correlation coefficient to find the equation of the regression line. That is, if the mean of the two variables x and y are given, if the standard deviation of the two variables x and y are given, and if the coefficient r is also known, using those five values, we can find the regression line. The least squared regression line is uh, denoted by y hat is equal to a plus bx, where b is the slope of the regression line. And here, the slope b can be obtained using this formula, the coefficient r multiplied by the quotient sy by sx, where sy is the standard deviation of y and sx is the standard deviation of x r is the coefficient, correlation coefficient between the two variables x and y. So the slope of a regression line is b and that is r times sy by sx. We also need uh, the intercept. The intercept is a equals y bar minus bx bar, where x bar and b bar, y bar are the means of x and y. And y hat will be the predicted y value of the regression line, where y hat is equal to a plus b x. And y hat can be written as the intercept, which is our a plus b, which is the slope times x. So y hat, the predicted value will be intercept plus slope of x. So if we can find the slope and intercept using the values of x bar, y bar, sx, sy, and r, we can easily get the regression line. To understand this, let us make use of an example. A statistics professor posted the following information on her office door at the end of the semester. The information says that the mean of the pre-final average is 75. The standard deviation of the pre-final average is 8. The mean of the final exam score is 78. And the standard deviation of the final exam score is 12. And the correlation coefficient between the two variables, x and y, where x is the pre-final average and y is the final exam score, is given by r is equal to 0 0.7. So since pre-final exam is uh, used to predict the value of the exam score, the exam score value will be the y variable. And the pre-final exam score will be the x variable. So this is our x bar and this is our y bar. And here the standard deviation of pre-final exam will be sx and the standard deviation of final exam will be sy. The final score grades have not been posted. Nicola wants to predict her final exam score based on this information, but she has an 82 per pre-final exam average. What does the least square line predict for Nicola's final exam score? So using these values, we would like to predict Nicola's final exam score, but before finding her final exam score, we must find the regression line using these five results, x bar, y bar, x, sx, sy, and r. The slope of the equation is b equal to r, sy by sx. So if we can plug in those values, the coefficient r is 0.7. The standard deviation of y is 12. The standard deviation of x is 8. So the slope will be 1.05. The intercept A is y bar minus bx bar, where y bar is 78 and x bar is 75. 
and using the B value what we have already got, we can substitute and get the intercept A as negative 0.75. So the regression line y equal y hat as a plus bx will be negative 0 0.75 plus 1.05x. Now we can use this uh, regression line equation to predict the value. So to predict final exam score of Nicola, we take this uh, regression line y hat is equal to negative 0 0.75 plus 1.05x. It says that her pre-final score is 82. So plugging in x is equal to 82, simplifying this, we get that as 85.35. So we can easily predict Nicola's final exam score as 85.35. These are the facts about the least square regression line. There is a close connection between the slope and the correlation coefficient because the slope is the coefficient times the quotient of the standard deviations Sy and Sx. Also, the regression line always passes through the point x bar, y bar, x bar, and y bar will satisfy that equation. This video helped us to understand how to get the regression line using the summary results, that is the standard deviations of the two variables, mean of the two variables, and the correlation coefficient. We can also use that regression line to predict the other values. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching this.